Welcome back to Romanovich Auto Surgeon. We are finally, finally, with all these projects aside, we're jumping onto this thing. It was supposed to be a winter project. Winter already passed. We're already about to hit April. So, well, you, by the time you're watching this video, it will be April. So I'm gonna be start tearing down into this thing. I really wanna get this engine up and running cause you know, my brother and sister do wanna learn. So if you guys are new to this channel, make sure to tap that subscribe button, hit the little bell to get notifications. But here we have a 1994, I believe, um, KX80. Um, we already got all the parts. If you guys haven't seen that video, I'll shoot you a little uh, uh, click thing right there for the video before when we picked it up and the reveal of all the parts. And today we're just gonna try to remove everything that we can, uh, store a bunch of the stuff in the in, uh, boxes. A lot of all this stuff that you see is gonna be, get replaced already because of all the parts that we have. So let's just go ahead and tear it down to stock. Uh, we do still need to set up our oven for powder coating. So that'll be a next video hopefully here soon, but let's go ahead and tear this thing apart. I really want to see the uh, insides of this engine, see if it's uh, rebuildable. But yeah, let's go ahead and let's jump into it and uh, not waste any more time. so there's the parts that we already taken off now we've gone to the electrical parts i gotta make sure i take good pictures of everything if you never worked on one but i'm sure there's videos plenty of videos on the internet to show you how to put them on or if you have a helper like zeke he'll let you know where it all goes so we're gonna go ahead and uh, take some pictures keep removing things I really want to just get it all uh, bone stock, uh, bone stock, just bone dry, just nothing on here. Have the frame by itself, probably take even the tires off um, and just have a place where I can store it all. That's the biggest thing. I apologize. I'm having to use one of these seats for some reason. I misplaced in uh, returning all of our stuff to the house. It's somewhere in my little bike lift uh, that I used to work on my dirt bikes. But I'm sure I'll find it later in the videos in the series. So let's go ahead and keep uh, going. You know, guys, the more and more I take apart from this bike, as you can see, pretty much just about everything is out except the shock, lower control arm, the wheels, and the actual engine. Look at this air box. Like, come on. Really? Seriously. Here's what the other side of it was. I mean, that doesn't look too bad, but gosh man like please just why i don't understand why people just leave their toys like this out outside where it just becomes just rusted to crap these these uh bolts that were holding the uh caliper on i had to hit it with a hand hit them with a hammer so show you a technique if a uh, bolt like this or screw whatever is rusted you put you spray with some uh, liquid wrench or WD-40. Then you put the screwdriver like this. And then you put tension onto un, un, uh, unscrewing it. And then you hit it with a hammer really hard. And that vibration will let it loose and it'll come off. I've had to do that with like, I don't know, 10, 12. 
bolts already it's freaking nuts um but yeah like just things are just rusting to crap the bike should not be in this type of condition if it was kept inside you know and taken care of somebody just left this outside you know and didn't want to take care of it whatsoever so i'm having to uh fight a lot to uh undo a lot of these things which i mean i don't mind i'm st not gonna give up we're still gonna build this beast um but yeah i just Take care of your bikes, guys. Either put it in a shed or somewhere inside where it's not just pouring. At least throw a tarp on it or something, you know? Just something, you know? It's, it's, it's just a shame. And it's sad. But yeah. Let's just keep moving forward. Uh, right now, I just undid this uh, top bolt for the uh, shock. I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, undo the bolts for the uh, actual engine right now. Try to slide it out of there. And uh, I might actually keep the wheels on the bike. I might rip the chain off because we have a new chain. Um, this way, it actually, I can just roll around the the carcass or whatever, the frame of the bike without having uh, to lift it around or anything. That way, if we need to get tools for working on a car, we can. So let me go ahead and rip this out real quick, and then uh, I'll show you what it looks like when it's out. So I was just super lucky. I was able to get this knot off because from this side... This one is completely stripped. This is a 14. The other side is a 19. That holds this lower control arm. That would have been really bad if I couldn't get that out. I, would, I don't even know what I would have done. So, yeah. If you don't have the right tool, it sucks. Please use the right tools. It definitely makes life a lot easier. Let's see if we can actually hammer it out. Maybe get my hammer. Get a small extension. There we go. Let's see if I can hit it out. Sadly, I couldn't find anything uh, skinny enough. I'm sure I could, I just have to look for it forever. So I'm gonna just try to pull it out with my hand and tap on it. Oh, like a dream. There you go, she's out, holy junk. That was one long bolt. Sweet. I'm sure we could remove the whole uh, lower control arm. And that removes this other engine mount. So I'm just gonna hit this engine mount's already off. I think we only have this bottom one right here and that one. And that should come right out. So that one looks like a uh, 13 or 14. Let's see if I can match that up. Actually, it looks smaller. I don't know why I thought of that. Uh, maybe a 12, even. Yeah, it looks like it's gonna be a 12. Perfect. And that one's hand tight. So is this one. So we could just hit it with our drill. Let me put a small extension on there. The other side spinning through so is the other side so i'm gonna have to get a wrench for it real quick all right they're both off yay okay let's see there's one Here's two. Oh yeah, that's longer. And the sucker's bent. No wonder why it was going really weird. There we go. We should be able to take this thing out. Let's see, make sure nothing is still wired up anywhere. That just runs to the bottom of the engine, so we should be good. 
let's go ahead and try to take this out. Hopefully we don't have to remove any more of this structure. Uh, let's remove this right here. Hmm. Okay. I think we might have to pull this lower control on first. is still holding it's this link right here actually all right engine is out look how crusty it is under there pretty crazy i am going to go put that bolt back in just so we can have the lower control arm working with the suspension put that one back into but here we go so there she is this is what happens when you spin it over everything rotates like it should <laughs> You'd say it only needs a top end, but I think we're just going to go ahead and split it all open. Uh, check the bottom end because I bought a kit for the whole thing for the full rebuild. And we're just going to go ahead and uh, rebuild it from bottom up. Hopefully uh, have the proper materials and uh, to clean it really well. Make it nice and shiny. Um, hopefully we'll get to do a little bit of uh, powder coating on it as well. That would be pretty sweet. But check out this damage. This is from some pretty serious damage. I don't even, oh, I wonder what happened to that piston that was in there. That is crazy. But no worries. We got a whole new one. Just in case. Got a good amount of new parts. But yeah. She's finally a part. Pretty sweet. I'm happy. I went ahead and got a small little box the way I put all the stuff in there marked this little baggie with all the bolts old 1994 oh let's not look at that right there except only this engine but um yeah it's really wet outside so he doesn't want to go outside today little schmuck so he already knows what i'm talking about <laughs> all right so I'm going to put this back on. There's only... The only bolts that came with it were like three of these... Uh, what is this? A uh, 10 millimeter? Uh, nut, nuts right there. That's all that was holding this on. So, no worries. <laughs> but, uh, yes. I think we're going to leave the body the way there is. And we're just going to work on the engine itself. I really want to get it all rebuilt and make sure it fires up and everything before I do a full overhaul of all the other things. I mean, I'll slowly do them, but, um, uh, yeah. But I uh, appreciate you guys watching. I think this is probably going to be a wrap-up for this video. I don't want to make it too long. And that's getting dark outside. It's pouring. It's been raining like crazy all day, so I wanted to go inside and get some rest. But, yeah, the engine is out. Huge progress. I'm sure everybody's been waiting for it for so long. And uh, Bill is coming around the way. Next video up will be full teardown of this engine. We're going to be completely removing everything that there is. Um, removing every bolt and everything. So hopefully she doesn't look too bad on the bottom end. That would be really nice. But uh, some of this stuff has to come off because we got all new things. But yeah, it's going to be exciting. Right? Is that right, Zeke? Is that right? Is that right? Huh? What? What? Oh, yeah. What? Is that right? Huh? Where? All right, all right. I'll wrap it up. He says wrap up the video. So that'll be a wrap up for this video. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.